All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to the We'll Fix It team. Today, this isn't, uh, we're actually going to address a controversy that plagues the internet and questions and answers that I have found to be quite, uh, they go both ways. And people ask, is an LS motor an interference engine? And I've got, uh, <laughs> I got, I've got news for you, buddy. But right there are push rods that came out of this side of the engine. What happened here is this motor the timing chain failed. It either is broken or it's completely gotten out of time where it's, you know, there you have it. There's your push rods. And if anybody knows anything about what I'm holding in my hands here, that's they should be straight. And what's bad is I think I've got every one I think I've got no every every one of these push rods is bent. The, that one there looks kind of straight, but it's actually got a little bit of a bow to it as well. Uh, um, and, so the, and, you know, I would suspect that this would cover just about, I can here, a cover, cover just about all your years. I think that one might be straight. Maybe. But I might have one push rod out of the whole crowd on this one side of the engine that's not bent from the piston smacking the crap out of it. And I don't know the extent of the damage until I get the other head off over there. Knowing I see this, this will be pretty much done deal. But that answers that question. It's a quick video. If anybody wants to know if an LS motor is an interference engine, and the answer to that question is yes, yes, and yes. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you're watching this video because this has happened, good luck to you guys. I'm out.